Hello all and welcome to another first time in 10 years and today I thought off the back of my last video being from the London Gaming Market that I would indeed pick one of the games that I bought at the London Gaming Market and that today is going to be Paul's Challenge. Now I did own this game back in the day, I think it was the first game I bought outside of what got bundled with my PlayStation 1 and obviously it's been long since passed on since and I haven't played it for what is well over 10 years now. I can remember it being quite a fun game, but I can remember it being a very tricky game. It's not an easy game at all, this one, even on the default settings. You have to kind of... There's only one car available, even though it says Porsche there. There's only one Porsche available, and I believe that's the Porsche Boxster. So I'm guessing when it comes to picking cars, you don't. Unless it lets you pick a colour, I don't know. And I remember it being tricky, and you had to get these checkpoints, and obviously to keep your timer going, and then you'd have to finish that race within all of these checkpoints in order to move on to the next one. And I think, I don't know, your time may have even carried over or something. And you had to do that for X amount of races in whatever the, I don't know, championship mode is, in order to finish it. And you race the other cars, but you race them over the course of the tracks, I think, rather than just in one race. But you have to finish them all in all, in, in time to get to the next one i think that's how it goes so yes let's have english and let's play one player and we'll go into the championship and we'll see how far we can get oh righty we've got characters that would be who those uh, motley crew saw at the beginning those i don't know what was it half a dozen people so yes obviously there's no car selection so we've got dan we've got rachel oh yes the car colors are now different <laughs> Pink car for, for Rachel. Beats has the green one. Nikita has yellow. Marco has blue. Taka Bo has red. And we're back to Dan. So I'm going to pick Dan. Let's pick the cover cover star Porsche, the silver boxster. And uh, we'll leave it on simulation and regular. As I say, in all these videos, I leave them on default settings. So as the words say there, let's go. And there's our track. Number two, horrible with corners. Three laps. And this is like most games on the places. I think it's the X button is actually the accelerator because we're so used to trigger buttons nowadays. Being, oh, I don't like that view. No, LB's not change. Left trigger will change the view. Let's go to this one. Let's even catch up with Greeny. Yeah, modern day racers are so used to them being. Wow, sensitive turning. Whoa, 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 we'll be needing to break. Yeah. One day games all use the right trigger and left trigger to uh, accelerate and break. So, Jesus Christ, this is so sensitive. It's all over the place. Made the first checkpoint at least with five seconds to spare. Jesus. See, when I play racing games, I'd rather, rather than actually break on corners. Oi! Jesus Christ, man. Rather than brake for corners, I generally like to lift my finger off the accelerator and then perhaps brake as well if needed. I don't know if that's uh, a skill or not, but it's just a trick I tend to use. Let's see, yeah, we hit you, see how you like it. Okay, coming to the finish line. Oh, God, our tyre went red, and we can see another car in the distance. We see a yellow peril there. I can't remember who the character was that had that, even though I read them all. Right, off the accelerator, turn right. Wow, it is sensitive, super sensitive. I'm constantly correcting myself. There we go. It's all right, I think it's going well. It's going well. He says as he new turns into the grass through the checkpoint again. I think well, we made up time there. It was red last time, nearly. Uh, oh, Greenies overtook us again. All right, we'll use the uh, red and white bloody corner road. Forget the technical term for those. Okay. Oh, awful, awful. Please don't. Cost me too much time. Back in front of Greeny at least. Well, wow, time's gone red. Three, two, Jesus Christ. It'd be nice if I could at least get through the first course for my first effort. In just over 10 years. I think it's just that. Nah, it's long over 10 years. I wouldn't be surprised if it's nearly 20 years since I played this. It's catching up to that yellow one, nearly. See the finger off the accelerator. Mind the wall. Okay, three. No, Jesus Christ, we're going to be pushed to make this. <sighs> Come on, we can do it. Oh, we've got another car. I thought it was pink car when I said it earlier. It looks like it's purple. Jesus Christ. 
Don't hit the wall this time. Oh, I hit the car though. That might have helped actually. <laughs> Let's give us a beep. Start off. Don't care. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, no. No point. One seconds to go. And this, this, that was so close to game over. Oh my. You can't make this stuff up. Retry race. What did I fail? What did I fail on? I have no idea. But I have to retry the race. I made it. I don't get that. I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to pause it there because it's made me restart the race. I'm guessing that technically counts as I didn't progress on to the next race. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first effort. <laughs> Even though I finished the race, so I progress on to the next one. I don't know how this championship works. Maybe I have to finish in the top three. I don't know. There are manuals for these things. Perhaps I should read it. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first effort at Porsche Challenge in over 10 years and I think the challenge in this case is to see how if you can finish the first race and if you finish the first race how much time is left on the clock so as I like to say in these videos I do encourage people to have a go and film your very first efforts like I've done here and then post it as a video response if anyone does that I'll be much obliged and you can join a list on my channel I have a playlist that is VR responses to all of my videos so you can see anything that's been a previous first time in 10 years that someone's responded to or even fighting with five lives which will have a second episode real soon so ladies and gentlemen all I want to do is say thank you for watching please any comments about your thoughts on the game or memories of the game in the section below do like a bit of genuine interaction that just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching and as always take care